guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Katie. I make lifestyle, fitness, veganism, health advice videos, fun stuff like that. So if you guys want to join the party, feel free to subscribe down below. This has been a very long awaited video or a topic for me to really get into detail with you guys. As you guys can probably tell from the title, this video is going to be all about how I lost that weight during my six week summer shred. I'm also going to get into what that even is for those of you who didn't follow my whole Instagram journey through that period. I literally sent myself like the longest email so that I would have absolutely all the information to tell you guys and that I wouldn't forget any. I don't want this video to come across to you guys that everyone needs to lose weight to be happy or to be healthy. That's not the case whatsoever. I don't think numbers has anything to do with health. If you feel healthy inside, and that's really all that matters. Weight is just a number. It does not matter. These tips are based solely off of my own experience. I am not a registered dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a personal trainer. I really have no education in this field except for my own personal experience. So what worked for me might not work for you. So I want you guys to take my advice with a grain of salt really do your own research kind of experiment with your own diet and lifestyle and everything like that to find exactly what works for you that being said let's just get into the video open this video down into three sections the first one being diet second being exercise and the third one being lifestyle habits that I changed for the six week summer shred challenge that I did it is something that I completely made up I didn't use anyone else's workout guys nutrition guys anything like that it's a plan that I created for myself um, and I was super super happy with the results. I'm in the process of making a 30-day bikini body challenge I'll have a lot to do on it out sometime hopefully in the next year I just wanted to mention that really quickly because I know so many people have been asking me if like I have a guide or something like that They can buy um, to follow if you have one it is in the works and it's not quite out yet But it will be soon hopefully okay, so kind of like the guidelines that I made for myself for my diet portion um, Obviously I was gonna eat completely vegan. So no meat no dairy no eggs cheese anything that comes from animals I did not eat it um, that also counts as byproducts, so like no honey, stuff like that. I want to tell you guys is that I did not set a calorie limit for myself. I was not putting on like my fitness pal, like 1,200 calories um, to eat for the day. I didn't have any calorie limit. I didn't count my calories. I didn't count my macros, nothing. I feel like I need to set a calorie limit for myself just because what I was eating was so clean and so good for my body. Trusting my body to do its thing. Um, and obviously it worked really, really well for me. The next thing is that I didn't, so I didn't eat any processed carbs or sugar. And I know a lot of people, when I talked about this on my Instagram, were really confused as to what that was. So processed carbs are things like bread, crackers, chips, um, bagel, you had to like buy pre-made at a store. I did not eat processed sugars, you know, can be candy, cupcakes, chocolate, cookies, etc. Really the biggest thing to cut out. Um, I also didn't drink any caffeine. That there were probably about like five or six times during this challenge that like a strawberry refresher from Starbucks, which is completely vegan, but it does have green coffee in it. So I did slip up on that a few times. I'm completely addicted to Starbucks. The thing that I did is I had a minimum of three liters of water per day. My fridge actually has like the measurements on there. So whenever you're filling up your glass, it'll tell you like, you know, 0.5 liters or something like that. So that was super, super helpful um, to know. But yeah, I drink that every single day. It really helps to flush out your body, to clear your skin, just hydrate you. Kind of going along with that, every single morning I have two capfuls of apple cider vinegar um, and I would just add in with like a full eight ounce glass of water. Apple cider vinegar really, really helped my digestion. It helped clear my skin. Completely got rid of any bloat. I was not bloated at all unless I forgot to drink this. To like the calories, um, I really just intuitively ate. So I would have dinner, I would let myself eat as many fruits and vegetables that I wanted. Let myself eat as much rice, potatoes, you know, vegetables, broccoli, carrots. Apples. For me, that was like the simplest way to do it. Um, and I felt really, really good on that because my body kind of balanced itself out and how much I should be eating. So moving on to exercise. Um, so this was super simple. I did not do any crazy workouts. I didn't do anything complicated. Gym for like two hours a day or anything like that. I was actually kind of lazy on the exercise part, to be honest with you guys. Exercise, what I did is I walked three to four miles every single day. So like walk my dog or walk by myself, listen to a podcast or some music. Um, but I would kind of just walk at a fast pace. So kind of like power walking. So I feel like, so I feel like that walking part really helped to get rid of the fat in my legs and to lean my legs out. To supplement my walking, um, about like three to five times a week, I would just do an at-home booty band workout. I posted a few videos of those on my Instagram, um, but I just did like super basic stuff like squats, lunges, donkey kicks, like nothing extravagant, nothing crazy. Um, and I maybe did like three sets of 15. Nothing super special with that. Um, just kind of like whenever I got around to it and if I wanted to. An ab workout every other day. And my favorite ab workout, you guys, is Alexis Ren's ab workout on YouTube. So if you just Google Alexis Ren ab workout, it'll pop up. You guys, that one got my stomach so toned. Like it was day and night difference. It was amazing. I love it. So if you're looking for a good ab workout, definitely check that out. Moving on to life habits. First thing that I did is I made a regular sleep pattern. Now this helped so 
so much. You guys don't get enough sleep or you have an irregular sleep pattern. This is your cortisol levels, um, which is a stress hormone in your body, and this can actually cause you to gain weight around your stomach and your upper hip. Um, so that is one thing that I made a huge priority is to get a minimum of eight hours sleep every night. Try my hardest to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time every day. Next thing that I did for my lifestyle habit changes, I did not buy any bad food or anything like that for the house. I didn't buy any pop, I didn't buy any like chocolate or chips. Um, or any like snacky foods like that. Those people where if it is in the house, I guarantee you I will eat it. David hates me for this because I literally will always eat all of his snacks. That was really, really helpful because when you're craving chocolate but there's no chocolate in the house, exactly A, you're just not gonna eat anything, or B, you're gonna go find something healthy like apples and peanut butter or fruit. It's a really big tip if you guys are trying to lose weight and you struggle with your cravings, stop buying anything bad. Don't put it in the house. So another thing that I did is losing fat pounds. I took a lot of bubble baths. So that really did help me to lose a lot of water weight and any bloat that I had going on. And the last thing that I did is I really focused on de-stressing. Um, so like I said earlier with like your irregular sleep patterns, it raises those stress hormones in your body and make you just like hold on to that weight. When I was stressed, I really focused on letting that out in a healthy way, whether it be walking or taking a bubble bath, um, stuff like that. I really focused on de-stressing and just calming my body. And I think that is something that really, really helped me as well able to lose a total of 17 pounds which was awesome because I've never lost that much weight in a healthy way ever in my life. For the part I've been able to like maintain that weight now. Um, I'm not eating as strict anymore. I don't feel like I need to have my body in like tip top shape 24-7. A, that's unrealistic. B, I just don't really care that much. When it's swimsuit season, like of course I wanna feel like really healthy and confident. But right now I'm just enjoying the fact that it is fall and sweaters do not show food babies, so I'm enjoying all this yummy food that I can eat. I don't want you guys to think that living this way 24 seven is realistic. Um, for some people it might be, and that is so awesome. Kudos to you guys. I cannot do that. I don't even wanna do that. Guys, but don't think to lose weight that you guys need to eat like this 24 seven. If this video helped you guys out and answered your questions, I have so many questions on Instagram this past week of like what exactly I did. Everyone was so curious. So I think I covered most of you guys' questions. If you do have a question that I didn't answer, comment it down below and I'll totally answer that for you guys. And if I get a bunch more, then I honestly might just make like a part two to this video. Um, so yeah, like if you do have any questions, definitely comment those below. That's much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoy these. And if you guys do want to see my progress pictures in like chronological order, feel free to head over to my Instagram. That will be linked down below as well. I posted so many pictures during that challenge. You guys can see exactly where I was at in each point. Um, and I posted like long updates and everything like that. So if you guys want like real time updates, um, definitely head over to my Instagram and I have all of that there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.